Hi, my name is Benny Simontov and I'm the Vice President of Product and Business Development at Fungible. We are excited to unveil the first of Fungible line of products, the Fungible Storage Cluster, or FSC in short. An industry-leading, very high-performance, scale-out, disaggregated, secure, all-fly storage cluster. With Moore's Law flattening and software being fundamentally bottlenecked by general-purpose server architectures, CPUs are unable to cope with large growth and storage requirements, including the ability to achieve high IOPS and throughput at low latencies, especially when you turn on data services like compression, encryption, and erasure coding. It has become increasingly clear that the solution for executing data-centric computation efficiently lies elsewhere. At Fungible, we believe that the market needs to address the general purpose CPU bottleneck at a more holistic level, basically combining software innovations together with, with hardware innovations. This is exactly why we developed the Fungible Data Processing Unit, a new class of processor designed from the ground up to handle data-centric computations at extreme high performance and to enable efficient fabric interconnect across a large number of disaggregated nodes. Fungible has done to storage exactly what SDN did for networking. We completely separated the storage control plane from the storage data plane. The storage data plane running on scale-out storage nodes is called FS1600. The storage control plane, which run on three or more HA nodes, is called Fungible Composer. Let's take a look at the FS1600 first. The FS1600 was designed on the principle of scale-out architecture where adding more nodes will increase the performance linearly. In fact, we can support up to thousands of nodes in a single data center. The FS1600 is a 19-inch wide, 2RU high storage node with 24 U.2 NVMe SSD and 800 gigabit per second of Ethernet bandwidth. It is powered by two F1 DPUs, which are running the entire storage, networking, and security stacks. And as a result, the FS1600 achieves extremely high performance at DAS-like latency. For example, a single FS1600 can achieve over 15 million IOPS of 4 kilobyte random read, which is more than 80% of the theoretical SSD capacity in the box. 15 million IOPS translate into 60 gigabyte per second of throughput. This is an average 5 to 10 times higher than any other x86-based storage array. Another key benefit of the FS1600 is its ability to turn on inline data services like compression, encryption, and erasure coding without impacting performance of the node. This is typically not the case with CPU-based storage nodes. The FS1600 currently supports block storage with NVMe over TCP and NVMe over TrueFabric. We add about 10 microseconds of additional latency over DAS, which is unnoticeable by the high-level applications. The disaggregation, however, gives us the full benefit of independent scaling of compute and storage. Fungible True Fabric, enabled by the Fabric Control Protocol, further allows us to create a large scale of FS1600 with a reliable end-to-end -end quality of service and much lower latencies compared to other protocols. The high performance and low latency makes remote SSD appear like local SSDs even at a very large scale of deployment. In fact, the FS1600 is the only high-performance storage solution available today that supports network erasure coding as compared to 3x replications. Fungible achieves data durability by implementing a flexible erasure coding algorithm across multiple nodes over the network. We support all the way from 2,1 to 32,8 configurations. Distributing the FS1600 nodes across different racks enhances reliability as our EC implementation allow the FSC to recover from multiple system failures, even in the case of power loss to the entire rack. Another benefit is that our customers can now implement EC for hot data at high performance and low latencies. Up until now, EC is typically only implemented for cold data. Let me summarize the benefits to our customers. Well, first, FS1600 delivers the highest performance density in the market which is about 5 to 10x higher than any existing x86-based storage platform. Performance scales linearly when adding additional nodes. Secondly, our customers should see 
3x lower TCO and footprint compared to current deployments. The TCO benefits come from inland compression ratios that are comparable to Google broadly, but runs about 100 times faster. Lower overhead from network EC compared to 3x replications and pooling of stranded SSD resources, increasing media utilization. Thirdly, the FSE supports some additional advanced storage services like multi-tenancy for cloud environment, encryption addressed and in motion with per volume key, per volume quality of service with mean max IOPS, snapshots, clones, striping, as well as additional advanced storage services. The FS1600, powered by the fungible DPU, enable hyper-disaggregation of data center infrastructure. Let me now turn over to my colleague, Srini, to talk about how the cluster FS1600 is managed by the fungible composer. Thank you, Benny. Hello, I'm Srinidhi Vardarajan, the SVP of Solutions at Fungible. It's my pleasure to introduce the other half of the fungible storage cluster, the control software known as Fungible Composer. The Fungible Composer is a centralized management solution that's developed to configure, manage, orchestrate, control, and deploy the FS1600 cluster. It operates on a control plane that is distinctly separate from the data plane. The Composer itself runs on a three-node, self-contained quorum-based cluster for scalability and high availability. The core architecture is cloud-native. It consists of stateless services, with all the state confined to fully replicated databases and messaging services. We use internal load balancers to steer control plane load across service instances. And this ensures a smooth operation under data center scale load. Fungible Composer consists of five services, storage service, a network management service, a telemetry service, a node management service that's responsible for log collection, and finally, an API gateway that provides external access to the services that are hosted by the Fungible Composer. What is unique about our data center scale storage system design is the separation of the control plane from the data path. This enables the data path to be really simple and thus robust to a variety of failure conditions that you run across in a data center. I mean, this is what you really want, moving complexity out of the critical data path and into the control plane. The storage service in Fungible Composer is responsible for creating and managing storage volumes and enabling storage capabilities along four axes, data durability, data security, data reduction, and performance isolation. Users of the FS1600 can easily select the data durability scheme all the way from raw volumes with no durability, basically ephemeral storage, to erasure coded or replicated volumes with configurable protection to recover from an arbitrary number of failures. All of this on a per volume basis. Data security is provided by seamless volume encryption with per volume encryption keys and support for centralized key management via KMIP. For data reduction, the storage service provides a variety of selectable compression algorithms and data deduplication, again, on a per volume granularity. Finally, performance isolation is guaranteed by per volume quality of service support. If you notice, I keep harping on per volume basis. This is because unlike other storage arrays that create siloed combinations of durability, security, data reduction, and performance isolation, and force all data volumes to belong to either one or the other of these combinations, the fungible storage cluster truly enables each volume to be independently configured along all four axes. This is what provides the customization that is needed for multi-tenant data centers. Ease of setup is particularly important when you're talking of a scale-out storage cluster that operates at data center scale. And this is where the network service in the Fungible Composer comes in. The network service automatically detects an attached FS1600 node, and it uses zero-touch provisioning to add it to a Fungible storage cluster. Cluster expansion is now a seamless operation. The telemetry service provides a sophisticated 
data gathering and distribution engine for telemetry data and for metrics that are gathered from fungible DPUs within FS1600s. To access the vast amount of telemetry data that comes out of DPUs, the telemetry service uses a subscription model. Once you're subscribed to a metric, data points are periodically uploaded from the DPUs to the telemetry service, and you can query these metrics. Data from the telemetry service also monitors the health of the fungible storage cluster as a whole. And this provides the insight that's necessary for initiating failure recovery under software, server, storage, or network failures. Because of its performance, scale, and granular configurability, the fungible storage cluster is particularly well-suited for high-performance data center scale operations. Major use cases here include parallel file systems, high-performance databases, elastic block storage across AI and machine learning use cases, analytics. We hope you are ready to enter a new era of hyper-disaggregated storage that provides performance, power, and cost efficiencies that have historically been enjoyed only by hyperscalers. This is not your grandma's attic.